السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على سنة رسول الله محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد بعد أكم شكور من يزمك سبحانه وتعالى نكم تكيا رحمة ناماني ونويتم تم محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم هيا سما وايضا هيتش نكي بندي تمريكودي هابا تكيوا na ndugu yetu rafiki yetu uh, bwana Muhammad ambaye uh, yeye ndiye msimamizi ndio tuweza kunena Kiswahili tutamuita mwanzilishi wa kituo hichi cha Yashfin Hospital ambao iko Nausari hii ilianza kuanzia 1997 alhamdulillah sio hili jengo lakini walianza walibuni hii fikra kuanzia hapo baada mikakati mingi walioiona kwamba kuhitajika kuwe na kituo ambacho kwamba kitaweza kupunguza au kusaidia mahitaji ya watu katika kuboresha afya zao na alhamdulillah walipokuwa na nia nzuri Mwenyezi Mungu akawafikia huwezi kuamini hapa kuna hospitali ya serikali lakini utafikiri hii ndio ya serikali watu walivyokuwa wingi siku ya serikali hakuna matibabu lakini hapa wapata zaidi ya matibabu ile kwanza kule kushuhulikiwa na ule ubini adamu uliowekwa mbele hapa ukija asubuhi wewe unaweza kusema mimi siwezi kumuona daktari au leo kuna matibabu ya bure maana sisi kule kwetu tumezoea mahala hospitali kukiwa na watu wingi ni maana kuna free medical lakini la ni kwamba hapa kuna matibabu mazuri yapatikana watu hawajali kuwa hapa watalipa hospitali ya serikali malipo ni kidogo sana lakini wao wathamini wa, wa ya, yale matibabu ambao kwamba wayapata ni ya uhakika. Mimi haswa lengo na madhumuni kufanya kipindi kama hichi ni kuja kumshukuru yeye na idara yake. Masha Allahu Ta'ala la haula wala quwwata illa billah Mwenyezi Mungu awahifadhi na jito la hasidi. Khidma unazozipata services ambao kwamba wazipata hapa Nausari, hapa Yashfin Hospital mimi nishawahi kuja India si mara ya kwanza. Tafauti kubwa baina ya hospitali hii nilokuja na New Delhi nilokwenda mimi. Hapa kuna tofauti kitu kikubwa kwanza. Hawakuulizi una pesa ngapi? Wakuuliza una tatizo gani na gani? Wao hawataki kujua the man eh, 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 the eh, amount you have. No he want to know the problem you have. How many problem you have? Wao kitu kikubwa atakujua wewe una tatizo gani na ni vipi wataweza kukusaidia kukuondolea hilo tatizo. Mimi wallahi na pia Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Jalla Jalalu. Kwa hiyo kitu kikubwa ambacho kwamba kimetufanya turekodi hichi ni kutaka kushukuru idara yake yeye mwenyewe na idara yake usimamizi uliokuwa mzuri. Pangine niweze kuwapa faida kwa nini usimamizi kwa wa mzuri? Kwa sababu ufuatiliaji ni mzuri. Na pia nimehisi kwamba kuna alaka kubwa baina ya wasimamizi na wafanyikazi ya urafiki mkubwa sana. Na kila mmoja athamini. Mimi niliuliza swala moja hapa nilimuuliza mmoja katika wao nikawaambia Kwa nini nyinyi hospitali zenu hapa utakuta yani mgonjwa saa zote aweza kuita nasi saa zote saa zote na humuoni nasi kukasirika sema kwa sababu akikasirika kwa sababu sisi mgonjwa ni kama yule anayekwenda dukani kama mteja anayekwenda kununua. Ikiwa hatothaminiwa yule mgonjwa hato ithamini hospitali ni lazima aoneshwe thamani ili ki... asitamani maradhi lakini ajua mimi nikaenda yashfin na nasimamiwa kwa, kwa namna itakiwavo na naheshimiwa na, kwa namna itakiwavo nasaidiwa kwa namna itakiwavo kwa hiyo hapa hii hospitali ya yashfin Mwenyezi Mungu awabarikie ni watu wameeka ubiniadamu mbele sana 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 Mwenyezi Mungu amjazi khairi jazakallahu khair barakallahu fik Mwenyezi Mungu akubarikie wewe na familia yako na kizazi chako wanakisimamia vizuri na hapa tumebahatika niko naye Dr. Abdul Nasir yeye ana uzoefu wa mambo ya 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 hospitali 
mimi lengo mimi kama mimi Nezudini na familia yangu nimetaka kuwashukuru na nawaambia wale ambao kwamba wahitaji kuja kufanya matibabu hapa wasiwe na wasiwasi ni mahala pazuri ni mahala paaminika na wana, wana hawakutokomezi tu kusema hata tujaribu haa wana kupaka wa kukinaisha watakupa fanya hivi au hivi au hivi au hivi na hawawezi kukwambia basi hata tutajaribu la 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 watakwambia tatizo hili laweza kutukua siku tano nazo siku tano wa mimi sina na sisi hatuwezi kufanyia kwa haraka haraka haya ni ma, machache mimi mpenda kuzungumzia dr abdul nasir amekuja hapa amepaona yeye ni hodari zaidi kwa mambo ya hospitali atazungumzia ni vipi ameyakuta mambo ya yashfin insha Allah taala karibu dr abdul nasir Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikumussalam wa rahmatullahi. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Amma ba'd first of all uh, before I start to say anything let me say one thing. Uh Ustad Izuddin I've decided to make this uh, recording or this video out of uh, respect courtesy a way of uh, paying back to our uh, to our uh, what we call the locals who have received us including him he has been here for almost two months so out of that um, thing he had in his in his heart then he decided let me pay back by thanking them that's why he decided to make this video and uh, fortunately i'm around so he called me just to to say uh, maybe in another language but uh, first of all i also take this opportunity to thank uh, the founders to thank uh, their son to thank the whole medical fraternity and the staff of yashfin cardiac hospital uh, let me start with uh, communication uh, i have been to chennai I had a patient also traveled all the way from Mombasa, Kenya to Chennai and uh, trust me we had a lot of difficulties until we lost our loved one. It's not because of those difficulties one died but we faced a lot of troubles and we had to shift from one hospital to the other to find a peace to the patient and to ourselves. But trust me just decide when you want to come to Yashfin Kadek Hospital. The next thing, just make one uh, message, especially to our brother, uh, Lukman, Muhammad. Just say hi. I'm sure it will not take even five minutes. Lukman will respond to you and you will feel you are at home. So from there, they are going to take care of you. Trust me, you want a letter? For invitation, you'll get it in minutes, if not seconds. Anything you request from them, it becomes like, you know, you have ordered them to, to do something for you. And it will not be over from that communication. They will help you with the visa. You know, once you board, a driver will come to the airport to pick you. You know, all the details required at the airport, you'll be given. You know, I'm taking you through so that People should not fear when they decide to come to India, especially Gujarat side where Yashfin Kadak uh, Hospital is situated. Uh, from there, you'll be taken. They have their own accommodation, which is spacious. Okay, depending on the number of the family you are coming with, you'll be accommodated. After that, you'll be taken to the hospital, depending on the ailments or the disease you have come with. Doctors will be ready waiting for you. So immediately you'll be taken to the specialty that your ailment requires or you have booked, you have been booked, then treatment will start there and then. The funny thing from this hospital is they have kept humanity first more than anything. First of all, you should get to know one thing. This hospital is not or the founders have not built this hospital to make profit. They have built this hospital to help people, to help the poor. That's their 
principle or their, their rule, their motto is to help the poor. If I take you back how this Yashfin Cardiac Hospital started, it's a way back 2005 when Mr. Muhammad and his brother called Abdallah, they're living just outskirts of this uh, uh, Snori, what's the name? Nausari. Nausari. Just 15 kilometers out of this place, Nausari. And uh, they have been watching uh, how people are getting difficult because there is no dispensary, there is no clinic around that place. So people, when they are sick, they had to be ferried by different uh, transport. So they, have, they decided, let us have one ambulance to help these people, their own community. That's how it started. So Mr. Mohammed and Mr. Abdallah, his brother, they bought uh, one ambulance. And the drivers, they are these, the founders of Yashfin Cardiac Hospital now. But then, they were the drivers of that only ambulance. So after that, they found, you know, the, the taqwa, they have, it has gone inside their heart. Then they felt we need to have an hospital where they will be able to save or to help more people. Not by transporting them with the ambulance, but also giving them medication. So they came to town, now sorry, this town, then they rented one hospital. So they were doing very well. Within two years, I think the patient uh, reaches almost, uh, the beds, you know, reaches almost uh, 50 to 100. Then uh, miscommunication was there. Then they had to go back to their village. They constructed or they built one uh, sort of a clinic, which also grew up. Then there was a problem with the land. They wanted to build a permanent structure. And that's why Yashfin Cardiac Hospital came about. That was 1997. So the funny thing to bring you back where we, we were is in this hospital, I'm talking through experience and Izudin is my witness, is you will never be asked when to pay even a deposit. You're required to go for surgery. Can, can we pay the deposit? They say, no, 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 don't worry. First, let us look on, on your patient, then you'll pay later. Trust me, I've been here now for a week. Izudin has been here for two months. He paid after or when he was ready to go back to Kenya. Even us, we have not paid up to now. And I don't know how to explain this gesture these people are showing to us, you know. They are very humble. You know, from the owners to the, to the last person, just talk to one, I need something. You know, <laughs> you'll get it immediately. I don't know how to express it uh, in a better way, but I hope you have understood. You just need whatever you want. You'll get it in this hospital. So coming to the that's communication, then coming to the services, alhamdulillah, they have almost all specialties. Name it. You want to come for oncologist? They are there. Ophthalmology, they are there. Pediatric cardiology, pediatric pulmonary, uh, all the surgeons, all the physicians, all, name it, you will get them. So just imagine your accommodation is just next to the door of the hospital. So there is no trouble for one to get transport to reach to the hospital. You can reach your, your patient at any given time. So two o'clock, Past midnight, you want to meet your, your, your patient, you just walk in and uh, meet your patient. So there is variety, even the, the what you call the, the wards. You want private ward, you want uh, super deluxe, you want special, you want general, depending on your pocket, but you'll get everything. In terms of cleanliness, you can't even mention everything. You know, it's flowing smoothly. So, as I've said, I don't know how to express the gesture we have received from these uh, people. The owners, you can, you can just be, you know, 
uh, moving with them without even knowing this is the owner or the founder of this hospital, the way they are humble, you know. So people will be coming to you every now and then. They're asking, do you have any trouble? Do you have any problem? Is your problem solved? You know, you have a problem with the airline. So they are there to make sure you are as comfortable as you can. I hope I've expressed myself, but uh, trust me, this is the best hospital in India I have seen. So I wish, I don't pray for anyone to be sick, but if you think you need uh, further review, further or uh, specialized medication, surgeries, name it, come to this hospital and one day you'll come and say, truly, you said the truth that day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dr. Abdul Nasser, amenifanya ni kumbuke kitu kimoja. Mimi nilipokuja hapa, ilikuwa ni siku, sina pesa za hapa. I don't have Indian money. I asked Dr. Feswal, he say, Dr. Mahmoud, he say, go and, uh, in the Mahmoud office, he changed for you. The, I, when I come, Mahmoud don't come that day. Dr. Feswal, he give me 10,000. Say, take this. Then when, after, spitalia kupa pesa. The hospital, he give you a money. Other hospital, before you talk, put the money, money on the table. Before we, dis, before we discuss. Me, I want to change a money. The money changer is not here. here. The hospital, he give me 10,000 10, rupees. Yes, he only around $150. He give me this. You want, and he asked me, you want more? No, I say this is enough because <laughs> I want small money to buy food. food. Yeah, this is small money to buy food. I have a in dollar. I can't go to supermarket and pay him a dollar because I don't know the reality money, what is the fake money and what. Is, but in hospital, I know he, I got. Yani hospital ni nazo na juu nta pata pesa zo hakika hili ni Abdul Nasir ata wes ya kuelezea. Kwa hiyo kama alvose mandugu yangu hatu muombe imtu hawe mgonjwa. Lakini ukiwa mgonjwa. Usifikiria mahala pingine, think about Yashfin. Wewe, jipange, inshaAllah ta'ala, na Dr. Abdul Nasir, inshaAllah, Lukman, Dr. Abdul Nasir now, he came your ambassador in, 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 in Mombasa. Because he's a doctor, and he know, inshaAllah tawekea contact zake, na Lukman, na Dr. Feswal, any time, anyone he want to come, so if he says, inshaAllah, rataka, Bismillah. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much for Ustad Izuddin. Dr. Abdul Nasir, me, Muhammad Wait, and my son, Luqman Wait. Son name is Wait. Luqman Hakim. Inshallah. <laughs> Sorry for my English is very little, so sometimes trouble. Please correct it, Inshallah. And uh, today we are very, very happy to see the, mashallah, very nice people from Kenya side. And uh, we are so thankful to all our Kenyan, my brothers, my sisters, everybody, because we got many, many love from there. Not only when we came there in Kenya, but when we here in India, many, many people contact by WhatsApp or by phone, Alhamdulillah, and they are give many, many duas to us. And we have also 650 staff, our very, very valuable staff, and he knows how to manage how to treat our patient who come from here or from abroad. Alhamdulillah. And uh, you do for us, we do for me, we do for you, inshallah. Who come from in India or outside of India. 
Allah Ta'ala knows everything in what's in our heart, what's in our mind. But pray for us. Allah Ta'ala help to our heart to know everybody who are suffering from pain, who are wanted from us the many, many love, inshallah. Me and my staff, alhamdulillah, and my brother, and also our Yashfin family, we are best trying to reach every patient with love and care to our treatment of our patients who are needy, who are needy from money, who are needy from any other, inshallah. We are best trying to give it, to give helpful and uh, you're most welcome when you need to uh, treatment. Uh, Yashfin Hospital, Yashfin families, welcomes to you. Every time you can take our contacts, uh, my numbers and my son numbers. Also my son is, mashallah, now growing up for khidmat. And uh, you take uh, the number of, or by, you can contact by WhatsApp or by phone. Inshallah, we can manage everything, inshallah. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we got the good people from Kenya uh, here with me, Dr. Abdul Nasser. He has already come before one week ago. Uh, his brother, his, uh, his nephew was admitted in our hospital still. He's admitted, he was operated for the cancer. Hope, inshallah, uh, he will recover soon. And uh, we hope that the each and every people who are going to travel from Kenya to our, our hospital, inshallah, we hope the best that uh, as much as we reach the humanity of each and everyone. Uh, if anything, you can even contact me, you can contact Dr. Faisal, inshallah, we will try our best to serve you all. You're most welcome to Yashpin Hospital. Thank you. May I, I have yeah. one request? Yeah. You and Dr. Faisal. Yeah. You have a special number for, for people out of the country. Yeah. Special number. Yeah. For WhatsApp. This is okay. The number became special because sometime, sometime maybe yeah. that you, your number you use, you use number for Indian people. Yeah. This is number for. Uh, Outside foreign, of foreign, yeah, foreign yeah, people. yeah, yeah. In Kenya, Tanzania, yeah. Uganda. If you go to the WhatsApp with this number, you know you go to see. No any message. Lukman, how are you? No, Lukman, I have this. So and so, Doctor Ferson. Even you have a, another phone, special phone to receive yeah. any. Alhamdulillah. Any abroad people. Yeah. Yani, okay. I will not special. He ya kupokea. Maombi tu, unaweza kuizungumza mako pokea maombi ya watu walioko Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Western Africa, Eastern Africa. If you go to the WhatsApp in this number, you know this is only for someone who need help. Help. Yeah. yeah. Because sometimes maybe here friend he want to talk to you and the same number one from yeah. He said, hey, look, man, he say, uh, any time, busy busy busy, 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 busy. He don't know. Yeah. Maybe you, you are busy from your father, yeah. busy from your mother, yeah. busy from your uh, brother, busy from... But this is number, you know, not anybody he can contact you except he wants to come to Yeshfin. Yeshfin. I request this, you and Dr. Fesu. Okay, inshallah. Very, very, uh, very good suggestion. suggestion. Very good yes, suggestion. Okay, inshallah, we will try our best to make a separate number to contact us, to contact Yashpin Hospital. Inshallah, you're most welcome to Yashpin Hospital once again. If uh, any problem, if anything, you have, uh, if you want to give any suggestion, you're most welcome, inshallah. And uh, thank you one again, uh, Izuddin, uh, Ustad Izuddin. And uh, thank you, Dr. Abdul Nasser, to being here and share the few things about the hospital. Inshallah, we will try our best.
inshallah. Okay. Now we want to do, we don't want to come to a feed for medical, we want to come to a feed to our marriage. Inshallah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, next time will be. Next time, yes. inshallah, we will be come here wedding. for wedding to Lukman wedding, inshallah, ta'ala. inshallah, make dua, inshallah. And uh, Ustad Izuddin, mashallah, good suggestion, but uh, now age is going to the, come the sunnah, inshallah. inshallah. And we pray and we also invite to you, well, you and Dr. Nasser, nice. most welcome at the time, inshallah. not for treatment. No. But oh, for wedding, inshallah, <laughs> yes, inshallah, for celebration, yeah, inshallah. We come with our family, inshallah. You know that every day when we sit for uh, the dinner time, yeah. we meet at uh, the same table. Me, my wife, my family, and Lukman also here. I think every day, but not every day, on the table when we took the dinner, the Kenyan people, Kenyan people, South African people, always he talk about it. Sometimes we thought, you are Kenya, Kenya, you, you, leave, you leave the Kenya and you leave the India and you stay there. <laughs> All the time you are you're worried about Kenyan people, Kenyan people, Tanzanian people. So I am very happy to Allah give good son to me and Allah give always to you also, inshallah. Jazakallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, And he was a good son. Alhamdulillah. If the father had a good son, what do you say? What do you say? Intention. He came in the son, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, Allah make him better than you. Inshallah, amin. Amin, tumba amin. Shukran. Asante nisana na nyinyi, inshallah, na muna rusiwa kutoa maoni yoyote kwenye video hii, tutaweza kuyafikisha maoni enu, we tell uh, uh, the people if uh, someone uh, he has any suggestion any suggestion yeah he puts a, a suggestion and we we tell you the suggestion is it's yeah, so and so inshallah jazakumullah khair barakallahu feekum wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh he is in nyumba mbili mnaziona ndio nyumba tuna moja hii ya rangi ya white na na rangi ya gray ndo ninayoishi mimi ina two bedroom na hii nyingine hapa ni ya one bedroom nyumba ziko hii ngeti ya hospital angalia hili ndio geti la hospital na nyumba hizo na hili hapa ndio jengo la hospitali hapa kuna x-ray hapa kuna theater hili ni jengo na hapa ni sehemu ya kupumzika umekuja hospitali kuna mahala pa mapumziko hapa na hii hapa jengo dogo hapa hili ni ni, ni sisi huita kwetu chemist wao huita straw ya fine medical straw lakini ni chemist na lile kule ndio jengo ambalo kwamba hulazwa la madaktari na watu wa kulazwa na pia lina theater na insha Allah taala tutawafikishia moja baada moja Baba Nairobi lockdown. Ah. Wallahi tan. Nairobi lockdown. Kwa fai kwa nda. Nairobi. Sasa mmepiga KQ sasa hivi wasema wao hawajaambiwa wa, wa... Oh, Salamu alaykum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hapa ndio tuko eh chemist. Lakini unaweza kuiona hii chemist kama hakuna ukija asubuhi hapa uko busy kweli kweli busy kuona hizi zote hizi huwa kuna watu lakini sasa hivi sasa hivi wa, 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 watu si wingi kwa sababu mara nyingi hapa matibabu wa ni asubuhi lakini ukija matib, ukija tena viti asubuhi zote wazimejaa junaid na huyu ndo msimamizi hapa adil Huyu ndiye Adil ndo msimamizi na yule ni Yusuf pale na yule ni Junaid. Junaid. Say hi to for hi. in African hi. people. Hi African people, hi Kenya, how are you? All of them, God bless you. Pray for all of us. Junaid ni mmoja katika wanaofanya kazi hapa. He's a very active man in this uh, pharmacy. All the, all the people here but you need he speaking english just say if you need anything you can come to india this hospital ah we say we say mayuri 
Can you say hi to Africa? Hi, hi everyone. Yusuf. Hii ndo hii ndo chemistry yao mashallah. Ukija hapo mashallah angalia kila kitu e, dawa namna hakuna kuambiwa kila dawa imeandikwa bei pale pale. Huna haja ku, kuambiwa kusema mbona hii dawa hii mbona ni ghali dawa yenyewe imeandikwa bei. Asa. Hii hapa ndio canteen ikiwataka chakula. Waje hapo katukua chakula. E, na hawa. Irfan Samir Salam alaikum Salam bai Maona hapo biryani hiyo hapa ukitaka chakula hapa waje hapa hii canteen hapa Wa hapo ita canteen kule kule kwetu tumezoea canteen ni mahala pa pombe ha, hapa canteen ni kama haswa sehemu ya kula wana chai nzuri sana kwa wale waraibu wa chai lakini chai yao ni maziwa ya nyati lakini nzuri sana chai we hapa chai moyoto kitaka chai uko imtiaz huyo imtiaz salam alaikum salam irfan kana kalia baki samir kana kalia okay Uh, hili ndio jengo la madaktari ambalo kwamba umeona hiyo Yashfin Kadik eh, 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 hospital logo yao ya blue huko na hizi hizi ni ambale si zao na hii ndio gari huja huja kutukua kutoka Bombay ukija ukiwa mko mataka gari ya 7 sita ndio hii this is car for 7 sita kama mko watu wawili iko hizi ngeri za hospitali hapa hizi ambalesi za wao kama ni mgonjwa watakupeleka kwa mahala kwingine muona hii gari pia ya Yashfin ya kutukua kama watu watatu kutoka Bombay au wawili ni hiyo ndogo na hili ndio jengo ambalo kwamba Muone ile jengo ni kubwa tutawapeleka ndani muone ingawa tu hivi sasa hakuna crowd ya watu kwa sababu hapa hospitali wa mpaka kitu saa tisio watu wa shamalizo kutibiwa shukran Salamu alaikum hapa ndo tutaingia hospital na hapa ndo kitakufungua file utakuja hapa ukutane na Abeda bin Salamu alaikum Huyu ndio mkubwa hapa wa kusimamia hao watu kufungua file. Fungua file hapa. Na hapa unaona hapa ukija asubuhi utafikiri watu ni bure. Hii ndio reception hapa. Watu wao wamejaa tele hapa. Hapa na upande huu. Hii ni reception. Dr. Raksha huyo. Naona hapa ndipo watu wanaposubiria. Huwa kumejaa na hii ni emergency. Hii ni hapa wanaita emergency hapa. Kija hata usiku ukija hapa huwa huwa wako hapa. Hii ni emergency yani. Hii ni emergency. This is emergency. Emergency room. When twinkle? Hapa hapa kuna daktari wa emergency hapa humkosi. Saa zozote 24 ukija hapa utakuta uh, daktari. Hii ni emergency usione ni ndio special room ha hii ni emergency tu lakini kuna kila ina vipimo hapa wapimwa kila ina vipimo Hii emergency hapa ukija lazima ukosi daktari masaa 24 kwa sababu sisi saa nyingine huja tuko jirani na hospitali
everything here in India. Yeah. This is what what he write. My Yojana, the Palusaman, you know, the Dissava Mandir, nothing like that. When they call Kilu, Hapa, and Ozalen, and Alugaya, or Kilakit, one thing. One I'm going to hoya me in the emergency, as I'm a shy case, or a Pelequapi Angalia, Yamanini, Angalia Nikwanziani, Mini Tempe, who is the Kona Karata Sicini, very, very clean, very, very clean. Mwezi kwa na uchafu saa zote usafishwa. Mashallah kwa usafi hawa. Na hapa ndipo kila mtu aje kuchukua faili lake. Ukisha ku register unakuja hapa unapewa faili yako. Halas unafunguliwa file. Na mashallah hospitali zingine hawakupi file. Hapo kila mtu ukiingia umetibiwa umeambiwa una nini utapewa faili yako. Na hizi ndo room. Rooms za madaktari. Mwana hawa ndo madaktari, kila mmoja. Lukman, Lukman, can I take this? I want to take this. Full one. Yeah, this one. Na mashallahu, hakuna ati daktari mechelewa, haa. Kila daktari kwa time. Labda yu eni emergency metokea. Lakini siku zote hapa mashallahu, sisi tukipewa, utakona na daktari wa mashkio, utambiwa saflani. Ukija yu time, utamputa tayari. Ukisha kupewa ile, ukieka appointment time uni ile ile. Utasikia time yako, ikifika unaitua jina lako. Hawa ndiyo madaktari, baadhi ya madaktari wano. Na mashallah, kitu kimoja mbacho kumba ni mekiona cha kunishangaza Weo mefanyua pressure ni ya hania Ukwa kwenye room, lakini watakuja madaktari, atakuja kila ina daktari kutembelea Hii ndo room ya kumu, ni mfano wa room za kumuona daktari Wana kila daktari, ana room yake Alafu hapa tunana daktari Kuna daktari Daktari wa mato huku Hapa ni daktari wa mato Hakini mashallahu wanazifaya baada hizi wa daktari Dr. wa mato hapa wanafanya mpaka Lens hata mimi ya metaka kunifanyia Lakini mda Ndiyo nilikuwa mimi sasa ndiyo na usuma miyama sister zangu Nkaona nikifanyia tena ya kutu wa mato Na minta taka wakunisuma miya Wazanana hakuna mwenye kusuma miya mwenzake Ona, V5 Bakucheki Ai Ona, hii Wanafanya paka leza hawa Tasa hapa tini ndo sana mtu uona madaktari Bado lakini kuna sehemu ya x-ray Mwona hapa ni imarai Na huwezi kwa mini Kuna imarai sisi kule Kenya tumefanya ya rahisi Hiyo hiyo manake hospitali ya mpao tuluipata ya rahisi alfushenuna tisia Hapa ni mefanyiwa hiyo hiyo Imarai hiyo hiyo ni mefanyiwa kwa pesa ya Kenya alfunde na miyatano Kwa pesa ya Kenya alfunde na miyatano Tena huwa Na ukifanyiwa hakuna tikuka sijui siku ngapi siku ngapi siku ngapi Rahul
Hii hapo. Huyu ndio Rahul sana na shulika kuku, kukuweka hapa ukaingizwa hapo tafikiri umeingizwa kwenye subhanallah. Hii ndio imarai yao. Mashallah na ma, ripoti chap chap hakuna kuchelewa. Na hii hapa ni CT scan. This is CT scan. Rahul, CT scan ah? Hii ni CT scan hapa. Hii ni chumba cha CT scan. Na huyu huyu Rahul pia anashughulikia huku CT scan. Unaona? Na mashallah ukifanya full medical check up utatiwa kwenye MRI, utatiwa kwenye CT scan. Yaani huwezi ku... Here for so, uh, in the, in the, hapa ni sonography hapa. Mahala pa kuchekiwa tumbo, kuchekiwa sijui kidney. Uh-huh. Hapo kuchekiwa kidney. Tutachekiwa wengo, figo hapa. Waangaliwe kizazi, sijui sonography hapa ndio wanafanywa hapa, mashallah. Na pia haichelewi chap chap. ingia lab tuingia lab hapa nje hapa wachukuliwa sample alafu yaletwa huku hivi ndo vifaa vao kwa kupimwa sasa hapo uonekane damu yako na nini kitu nilo kishangaa hapa yashfin ni kwamba wenye kutukua damu hata globes hawavai kule kwetu hofu hofu hapa hata globes hawavai hapa ndio wakichukua sample alafu ndio wanakuja nazo hapa wanazicheki na huku si sana tu kuambiwa haja kubwa haa fadhali haja ndogo hapa ndipo pakuchukua sample hapa wanachukua sample umeona huyu huyu ndo mwenye kuchukua sample hata globes hakuvaa ndo wenye kuchukua sample hapa uh, room ambazo kwamba kuna special room ambao hizi special room kwetu ni kama sisi tuita private room yani sio semi private private room ndio hii ni special room alafu wana wana deluxe room alafu wana na super deluxe wana deluxe room hii hapa alafu eh, hii ni super deluxe alafu wana na deluxe room Hii ni Dil hii ni Dilux room hii. This is Hii ni Super Dilux room ambayo wale wanaokuja kuangalia watakaa hapa. We mwenye mgonjwa wa kitanda chako ni hichi. Na kila kitanda hizi hapa nza kutumia mambo ya oxygen. Una mashini yako hii ya kumuitia nasi uta controli pale watakuwasha AC watakuwasha nini ni hapo hapo feni una TV yako pale choo hichi hapa ndani na kile ni kitanda cha ule mwenye kujuja kulala na wewe na lile nkabati lako la nguo na friji na microwave hapa hospitali hawana facility ya chakula kama mgonjwa ukuletewa you have any facility for food here From Ah, wewe utaagizia anakuiwaja mtwa na menu ukaagizia wewe kwa sababu hawakuweka inclusive yani ingia ndani ya bili kwa sababu wasema magonjwa wingi hawali tutakuwa tutatukua pesa za watu tu na wao wenyewe hawali sasa kwa hiyo wewe ukitaka ukitaka ni, wa, ni wewe uiwaja mtu kila asubuhi kukuuliza wataka chakula gani mchana na usiku kuuliza asubuhi utaka breakfast kitu gani watakuletea kutoka kantini asante ni huu safi tu wa hizi angalia ni usafi wallahi usafi usafi wa hali ya juu usafi hali ya juu very clean very very more ordinary na huku ni sehemu ya wodi general wodi kwa hiyo ni mtu anachague mwenyewe kuna na lifti 
ukitaka kuja kwa ngazi ukitaka kuja kwa lift 